Good day folks, if you are a Mavic Air 2 owner, today is going to be a very good day for you if you own the smart controller. DJI just released a firmware update that now makes the Mavic Air 2 compatible with the smart controller. So in this video we're going to go in, we're going to update our firmware, and we're going to see how it all works. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So as you can see on the screen here, they've updated the firmware version to V01.00.0820. And if you look at the release notes there, it says added support for the DJI Mavic Air 2 under aircraft management. Mavic Air 2 can now be added and managed. Now it's a very vague description that you don't really mention anything else that they've done. In order for the Mavic Air 2 to fly under the smart controller, the DJI Fly app must have been added, but uh, I guess we'll find out here in a minute. So let's go ahead and we'll update the firmware and then we'll check things out. Now if you've just purchased the smart controller and you're not quite sure how to update the firmware, I'll kind of show you here quickly. We'll start here from the main screen. What you're going to do is swipe down from the top and you're going to want to make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi. Once you're connected or if you're already connected to Wi-Fi, we're going to click this little gear icon there at the top and we're going to slide down just keep scrolling until you see the option for system update we're going to click on that and it's going to check for the most current version you can see that the current version is dot zero seven zero zero and then of course it has the new version listed right beside it so we're going to click on the update button and it's going to go through the update process my apologies there folks we did run into some technical problems and uh, maybe that's not a bad thing because if you're new to all this it might be helpful for you as well when i was trying to update the firmware over the air via the smart controller i kept getting a network error issue i tried to update it about four or five times and i got the same error message every time now that could be because everybody was trying to get this update at the same time that the dji servers were being slammed so i decided to update the smart controller firmware via the dji assistant 2 app for the mavic series and if you don't have it you can download it from the dji website you just go to the mavic air 2 page click on downloads it'll be listed there once you have it downloaded just launch the app make sure you're signed in with your DJI account the smart controller will be listed right away you can click on it and then it will present you with all your firmware options the firmware update will be listed there so then you just have to upgrade just be prepared it does take about 10 to 15 minutes and make sure you have a sufficient amount of charge in your smart controller so my firmware is updated now so I'm gonna power on the Mavic Air 2 and we're gonna bind it together I'm not quite sure how the procedure works yet, as this is my first time. So first of all, let's go to connect here. You can see we're greeted by all the different drones we can connect to. I'm going to click on Mavic Air 2. Now, as you can see there, there was a little bit of an error in the typing. Once it went into binding mode, as soon as I clicked on the Mavic Air 2, it started beeping and that signified that it was in binding mode. And it told me to press the button on the bottom side of the aircraft. Well, there is no button on the bottom side of the aircraft. What they were referring to is the top button. So you just want to press and hold. You don't want to do the double press. You just want to press and hold it firmly until the two link together. So hopefully DJI does get that corrected because I'm sure that's going to confuse a lot of people, especially if you're brand new to this. Once it is binded, you can see here it does give you the option to name your aircraft. I'm going to call mine Mavic Air 2. Just like that. We'll hit done. Hit OK. And you can see there it's actually downloading the DJI Fly app right now. So that wasn't part of the firmware update it has to download it later so we'll just sit and wait for that to finish installing I'll tell you this is going to be a game changer the mavic air 2 and the smart controller is going to be just a winning combination the smart controller is just brilliant for bright sunny days the simplicity no worrying about having to make sure your smartphone is charged up if it's a bright day you'll be able to see the screen clearly oh we've got a little bit of a welcome screen here at this point we have to log in with our DJI account and there we go you can see we have the fly app now running on the smart controller that is just wonderful tap on go fly and there we go and as you can see here the fly app is updated with all the most recent updates with the battery we've got that disable sideways flight there and the new a pass setting so it's the most recent version of the fly app so let's go back to the main screen here and we'll see how we can access all the options as you can see here it's still picking up the mavic air 2 so i'm assuming it's going to recognize whatever it's bound to what you flew last with it so we could just hit the fly button there and it's going to go ahead and launch the fly app every time you power it on now if you own the mavic 2 pro or the mavic 2 zoom or even the phantom 4 pro version 2.0 and you have it bound to the controller as well 
You can access the Go4 app still by clicking that button down in the right hand side at the bottom. And you can see there it lists the Go4 app and the DJI Fly app. So you can launch whichever one you need to launch. And as you can see there, it's updating the Go4 app as well. I'm not quite sure what's going on. You can see that it went to download an update. And now it's saying the current device cannot use the DJI Go 4. So I'm not quite sure what that's all about. I will have to test that later on to see what's going on there. So one of the nice things of owning the smart controller is that if you own multiple drones, like say you have the Mavic Air 2, the Mavic 2 Pro, the Mavic 2 Zoom, or even the Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0, you can bind all the aircraft to one controller. So if you're going to head out and say you're bringing your Phantom and your Mavic Air 2, you only have to bring one controller with you. You can switch back and forth as you need. If you're new to this and you're not quite sure how to do so, all we're going to do is swipe down from the top. We're going to go to settings. You're going to see we have an option called aircraft management. And you can see here, here's all the aircraft that I currently have bound to the smart controller. I have the Mavic Air 2, which we just added, the Phantom, Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom. And again, that's also how you add new aircraft. So if you uh, have the Mavic Air 2 bound and then you purchase the Mavic 2 Pro, you would just click add device and bind it the same way. So now I don't really have time today to take it for a flight. After all, it is GoPro week, so I'm quite busy with that. But uh, I'm just going to take it out in the backyard and I'm just going to hover it around, see uh, if this actually works. Okay, we're outside. We're just going to do a quick test with the Mavic Air 2 and the smart controller with the new firmware update. And when I powered it on, you can see we went right to the Fly app. So we will hit the Go Fly. And we're going to wait till we get satellites. I think I'm at nine there. Home point has been updated, but I'll wait till we get a few more satellites just so we have a nice stable flight. I'm uh, going to be flying in a very confined area here, so I don't want it drifting around too much. And like I mentioned, I don't have a lot of time right now because of GoPro week, but uh, once I have a little bit of free time, I will take it out and do a proper flight with it. Okay, we're up to 10 satellites, so that should be fine. Let me just uh, get the motor started here. So far, so good. And, uh, Let's just put it up. So yeah, that is the new firmware update for the smart controller and the Mavic Air 2. I can't wait to get out and fly this. It looks like it's going to be a great experience. So yeah, folks, this update is going to make a lot of people very happy. I know many people have been waiting for it, including myself. I found myself checking the firmware almost every day to see if it's been added. Now, if you own the Mavic Air 2 and you've been on the fence about owning the smart controller or purchasing the smart controller, I should say, definitely it is a worthwhile investment. It is very expensive. Don't get me wrong. $649 if you live in Canada, US dollars. If you're in the States, I believe it's $749. Uh, don't quote me on that. But definitely the value you get from it is just incredible. The flight experience, the simplicity, the ease of use. You don't have to worry about mounting a smartphone. You don't have to worry about making sure you have enough smartphone power. You have a super bright screen at a thousand nits. So if it's a very bright day, you're going to be able to see the screen nice and clearly. And like I said, just simple. You power on the aircraft, you power on the controller, and you're up and flying within 20, 30 seconds. I'll leave a link to it down below if you want to check it out further. Well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.